All right, so next I'm going to do is basically work on these feet. I'm going to go ahead and add um, a ledge, uh, edge loop right here. All right, and I'm going to double click on this. I'm going to B to turn off that soft select, and I'm going to flatten this like so. Um, and that looks pretty okay. Um, now the other thing I need to do is this. I'm just going to make sure I'm on edge. Grab this one and this one. Kind of pull this forward a little bit to make it look kind of roundish. Um, I'm gonna grab this, this, kind of pull that up a little. That looks pretty adequate. I'm grab this and this, and I'm gonna scale these in a little bit. All right, and um. Yeah. Okay, so that looks pretty okay, pretty adequate, if you will. Uh, I'm going to look to see what we got going on here. All right, that looks okay. I'm going to add another edge loop right here, right in here. Oops, there we go. And I'm going to make sure I grab edges, and I'm going to go ahead and flatten that out again. Um, and we'll go ahead and put that over here. And I'm going to take this, pull this this way, and we're going to say that that is not good yet. So... Um, I also did, not here, this one, uh, I don't see that doesn't really work either. Uh, let's do panels, orthographic, um, let's see, da, da, da. see how there's a bottom one? So I'm going to go ahead and choose bottom, which is basically underneath the character, uh, which, let's see, can't really see it because the other ones are there because I moved those below. Hmm. I wonder, can I select that? Hmm. Well, I did have a panel for this. I think I'm not going to worry about it. So, panels, orthographic, and let's just do top again. Okay. I'm just going to eyeball it, if you will. Um, so, I'm just going to grab these verts, and I'm going to pull these ones a little bit this way. I'm going to grab this, pull that one a little bit like that. Take this, and I'm going to scale this down a little bit more. So, it's a little more shapely, if you will. Um, and... And maybe I'm going to add another edge loop in there. I don't know. We'll leave it like that for now. It's not perfect, but it's a good base. All right. Um, next, what we're going to do is work on this shoulder and arm here. So let me see what we got going on here. Yeah. Still needs a little more pressing. Um, that needs more work, but we'll come back to that. Okay. So we're going to work on the shoulder and arm here. So um, I'm just going to use my insert edge loop tool. I'm going to do one really tight in here. I'm going to get one really tight to this. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to Edges, I'm going to double click, double click, holding Shift as I double click, and I'm going to grab this inside one, like so, and then I'm going to use the Slide Edge tool, so it's under um, Mesh Tools, uh, Slide Edge, okay? And I'm just going to middle mouse button, click and drag this out into the body, all right? And then I'm going to go ahead and add another one uh, on this side, so that will be my deltoid shoulder region. And then I need to put one right where the elbow would be, which I think I do have this. So that would be, let's say here. All right. And then I'll put one on either end. This will be my elbow. Okay. And then I'm just going to take this and I'm going to pull this one this way. Sorry about my kids. They're kind of loud. Um, okay. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to grab this and this and pull this up for a deltoid. I'm going to grab this one and this one and pull this one up and over, right? I'm going to grab my vert here, kind of pull this up to make an armpit. We'll pull this one up too a little bit. All right, so that looks pretty okay. Um, and we're going to leave that alone for a little bit. Okay, so I'm going to take this and I'm going to scale this. Did I get all of it? Yep, I'm going to scale this in a little bit. Like so, you see the, uh, the multi-cut tool, boom. I'm going to double click and scale this wide a little bit to make it look like a wrist. And then I need to make a forearm area, so I'm going to use that tool again. Go like this. And then we are going to scale this a little bit wider um, this way. Okay. And I'll move it in just a bit. Touch like that. Okay. Good. And then we need to do one for the bicep as well. So I'm going to put one in here. Ooh. Boom. And then I'm going to scale this one wider this way. Like so. Okay. And I'm just going to go ahead and pull it this way a touch. Like that. 
Um, and then I'm going to do the same thing I normally do with my joints, where I take basically these, and then I um, B for soft select, and then R, and scale this in like that. Right? Guys, shh! Um, and that should be kind of okay. It's a good start anyway. So we basically have the, the bare bones of what we need. All right? So we kind of have a real basic character. Well, last thing we need to do is work on this face, and this is going to be a whole thing all on its own. All right, so now what we need to do is basically make this nose and the face and all the other stuff. Now, the problem is the face needs a bit more resolution than what you're seeing here. So to get that, it's going to be a little bit of an issue, um, but we're going to try and work with what we can. So basically, eyes typically go right at the midpoint of the head, right? And then if you take that, you can break it down into thirds to do the mouth and the nose, which is basically what I'm going to do. So... I'm going to make my nose um, go from here. So I'm going to go bump. All right, let's try this again. Bump. Cool, it's not. Why are you no cut? Let's see if it will. There we go. I'm going to go like that. I'll hit enter to execute that. And this to this to make it a quad. So you see how this is going to form a nose. Here to here to here. And then we're going to go, I need to go the other way to go around my eyeball. So we're going to go here, 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 and then enter, and then to make things quads. I'll have to fix this after. All right, there to there. Bam. Um, and you can kind of see how we basically almost grew what would become a nose and what have you. All right. Um, good. All right. So. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and take this and this, W, and pull these in a little bit, All right? because I need to make basically, this is more or less going to be kind of like the bridge, think of like a Roman helmet, okay, um, that looks okay, so I'm going to grab this, 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 oops, this, and this, let's say, actually, not these, sorry, this one and this one, I'm turning soft select off. All right, and then we'll also grab this. That seems good. And I'm gonna go ahead and extrude that out. Boom, hit the extrude button, and I'm gonna hit W for the move tool and just pull it straight out like so. Beauteous. All right, that's looking very adequate. Um, still got this try here, but I'll figure that out in a little bit. All right, now to do the eyes and the mouth is gonna be kind of the opposite. So I'm going to grab this one, this one, this one, this one, this one, this one, we'll say. And I'm going to hit um, the extrude again. And this time I hit R for scale, and I'm going to go inwards like so. And this is roughly where the eyeball is going to go eventually. And then we are going to do the mouth, and the mouth will be this one, this one, this one, this one, like so. Um, we'll call that good enough, and I'll hit extrude. R, and we're going to scale this in, and that will be roughly the start of the mouth, okay? Now, uh, and if I hit 3, you can even actually kind of see how this is going to start working, okay? So I'll go back into one mode. All right, so I'm just going to go ahead and basically try to fix uh, this thing here because it bothers me. Um, so uh, to do that, I'm just going to go ahead and... Let's see, if I do that, okay, let's see if this will work, if I just snap these, not really what I want to do, but it might work, go like that, and then I'll go to edges, and I will delete that, and then basically, now it's all quads, I'm going to take this guy, move it kind of up and over, and in, I'm going to take this one and this one, move these up and inward like so and then we'll take this one this one and this one and we'll pull these out like so and we got something that doesn't look that great but it will work for now might need to polish that turd a little later but for now that'll it's quads we'll say all right so if I hit three you can see yay okay all right um Actually, just out of curiosity, if I take this and this and I delete those, still quads. 
Works for me. We're gonna go with that. Okay. All right. Okay. So we're gonna call that that. Um. All right. So that looks pretty good, and that's all coming along fine. Uh, so we have all the base shapes that we need. So really, at this point, what I gotta do is um, just kind of shape things out uh, as best as I can. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to here where the front of the eyeball is, and I'm gonna take this, like double click, double click, double click, double click, and I'm gonna roughly try and scale this to the size of the eyeball. So like down here, it should go. Um, let's see, we take this guy, pull this guy down, take this one this one here uh, more or less what you want to do is try to shape it to the eyeball so I'm gonna try my best to get this to follow the shape of the eye here in Okay. All right, and we'll take this guy and goes like this, and this one goes like this. All right. So that looks pretty okay. It's kind of following the shape. I'm gonna take my mouth, and my guy's actually got a relatively small mouth. It's actually quite a bit lower than what I have here, and so is the nose is a little bit higher. So um, I am gonna go ahead and do this. And we will be for soft select, and I'm going to try and pull this guy down a little. And then if I do B for soft select again, it will resample. I'm just going to try and get that down a little bit lower, like this. And then I'm going to go ahead and try and scale it in even more, like so. All right. Um, and then I also got to take this nose, take the soft select down a bunch. Okay, like that. Where's my handle? Um, am I not on verts? I guess I was not. Okay. Alright, I think I was on UVs. Okay. And W, pull that down. Alright, uh, I think I soft select down a bunch because it's starting to pull the eye too. Alright. Okay. Looking fantabulous. All right. Um, next thing I'm going to do actually is let's go for that. So we're going to call that okay somewhat. Um, this is actually got to go back up a little bit because I got pulled down with the thing there. All right. So now to kind of help finish off the nose, I got to grab from here to here and grab this whole part here. Okay. I'm going to try soft select and then I'm going to hit extrude. And I'm just going to go ahead and pull it out a little bit like this. Actually, let's undo that. I'm just going to go ahead and pull it out. All right, let's try that again. That doesn't make any sense. Okay, B for soft select, hit extrude, and hit W, and I'll pull it. And it just pulls the whole guy for some reason, which makes no sense. So let's go ahead and I'm just going to go ahead and go with what it gives me. For some reason, it's being dumb. Um, all right, then R. Okay. It's kind of weird. I don't really understand what's going on here. All right, so we're going to grab this. Okay, come on. Grab this edge and pull it down a little. I'm going to grab this one and pull it up a little bit like this. We're going to grab this vert. And go down here like so and I'm gonna grab this inside I shall grab this one and this one and this one and this one that one whatever good and I um, actually don't need that one I'm just gonna kind of pull this up a little and I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna grab this inside one and that one I'm gonna take this and pull this down over here a little. All right. And then I want the nose to be a little more snubby, so I'm going to kind of go like this. And now if I hit three, you're going to see he's got kind of his nostril area. This all needs a lot of spit and polish, um, obviously. 
So, uh, you know, isn't like a be all end all 